Hey everyone, Michael Cavaccini here, and today I'm happy to share with you Clive Barker's Dark World. I've been waiting for this book to come out for quite some time uh, since it was announced earlier this year, or at least earlier this year is when I took note of it. And um, boy, does this book exceed my expectations. First off, it is a heavy coffee table book. It's thick. It's really high quality. And so when you buy it and it comes, it's actually wrapped in cellophane and it has this sticker on it, which I cut out, decided to keep. And it says, inside the mind of the legendary creator of Hellraiser and Candyman with an afterword by Clive Baca. Um, why do I say his name like that? Who the hell knows why? It just sounds cool, <laughs> at least in my head. So let's take a peek at the... The back cover here. So it has an afterword by Clive Barker, and it says, A deep dive into the creative world and personal archive of master of horror Clive Barker. I've seen the future of horror, and his name is Clive Barker. By the way, that quote from Stephen King, um, I just interviewed um, uh, Douglas uh, Winter, who wrote a book 20 years ago, 20 years ago, uh, the authorized biography uh, of Clive Barker, The Dark Fantastic, which is out of print. And we talked about when that quote was said by Stephen King. It's a really fascinating story. Make sure to go watch that video of my interview with Douglas Winter to find out all about this quote. It, it, it was really interesting. I, I did not know the story behind it, and I just thought it was fascinating. Anyway, in the mid-80s, Stephen King inducted a young novelist into the world of great genre writers. And since then, the genius creator has only continued to expand his field of activity within and well beyond horror. Created by his two closest collaborators, and with the help of Barker himself, Clive Barker's Dark Worlds spans his fantastical body of work, highlighting classic characters like Pinhead, an icon in the pantheon of horror cinema, the Hellraiser series, and cult films Nightbreed and Candyman. Barker's anthology series, Books of Blood, and epic tales like Weave World, Abarat, and the Thief, of the Thief of Always, and Imagica have made him a massive name in literature as well as film. Barker has also created visual narratives for the worlds of comics, toys, and video games, while his art, his incredible paintings, drawings, and photographs, which fill these pages, has been exhibited in galleries all over the world. So this book retails for $50. Now you can get it for less on Amazon. You can save yourself a few bucks. I actually have an autographed copy, uh, a copy autographed by Clive that's on its way. Um, this is not that copy. There's also an ebook version of it, which I love, because if you want to, you know, have this as kind of a display piece, you want to keep it in pristine shape, maybe, you know, who knows, you're a collector. It's just nice to have that digital version that is always going to be accessible on your phone, your Kindle, whatever. And it's, what, I think $15, $16 for the ebook. The way I see it, buy a hard copy, buy an ebook, you know, and you can enjoy it in multiple mediums. So here's the inside. You can see it has Clive's writings. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'm telling you, I was so impressed by this. And I did a video of the Bev Vincent's Stephen King book that just came out last month. So Stephen King just turned 75, and a book like this came out for Stephen King. And now this month, in October, Clive Barker gets his own. So here's what's inside. You have the introduction, Hellraiser, Books of Blood, Volumes 1 through 3, The Damnation Game, Books of Blood, Volume 4 through 6, Early Childhood, Liverpool Lives, or Lives, probably Liverpool Lives, The Dogs in London, Early Films, Early Artwork, Underworld and Rawhead Rex, Hellbound Heart and Hellraiser, A Year of Books, Screenplays in the West End Stage, Weave World, Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, Graphic Novels, Cabal, Nightbreed, The Great and Secret Show, Imagica, Graphic Adventures, Candyman, Hellraiser 3, Pinhead, Insight and Appreciation, The Thief of Always, I love The Thief of Always, it's such a good book, Art Galleries, Documentaries, Razorline, Everville, Lord of Illusions. Always think of Scott Bakula because of the movie. Uh, Magic, Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh, and the Candyman franchise. Bloodline, Sacrament, 
I am not sure how to say that. Kiliad? Chiliad? I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Write it out phonetically. Oil and color. Galilee. Poetry and prose. Clive at home and at work. Gods and monsters. The essential Clive Baca. Erotic short stories. Cold Heart Canyon. Painting and painting the Abarat. 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 <laughs> Lots of Abarat. Um, islands, spreading the word, conventions, mazes. I met Clive at a convention back in, I think it was 2019. Delightful experience. Infernal toys. Television. Mr. Be Gone. Love it. Wonderfully written book. Just really, really good. An audiobook is narrated by Doug Bradley. Painting in the Midnight Hour. Abarat. Video games. Books of Blood movies. Imagining Man. Clive's Health. A Return to Comics. The Scarlet Gospels and Heaven's Reply. Harry Damore. Poetry and paint, uh, poetry and print. Imagineer, personal life, mercurial, great word, and afterward. Author's note on creation, after the word, and bibliography. So we're talking about 350 pages of Clive Barker. I mean, this is fantastic. And it's very, like, uh, thick paper. It's just nice and large. His paintings really jump off the page uh, just it's just a beautifully designed book i mean you're going to see it because i'm going to show you you know page by page you're going to see that there's a ton of content here there's great photos i mean look at this you can really get a sense of the man at work and what goes into it and the creative process behind um who i consider to be one of the greatest creative forces in ever i mean not even just literature i mean clive is just a force to be reckoned with right i mean he's a hell of a writer one of the best i've ever read uh the fact that he's explored so many mediums film video games and comic books and more is just it's inspiring i mean it really is inspiring And to be able to learn more about him in a book like this is just, ah, oh, you know, I can't wait to dive in even more. I mean, I just got this book the other day, and I've been wanting to share this with you guys so you can check it out and see what's inside. Because you might be wondering when you see it on Amazon, you're like, I think to buy the hardback right here, it's 45 bucks. Yeah, and that's a significant investment, so I could understand any apprehension. So I'm here to show you what's inside so you can decide for yourself if... This is a book you'd like to buy. I mean, if you're a fan of Clyde Barker, uh, I'd say you should absolutely buy this because there's nothing like it that exists. I mean, I mentioned that Douglas E. Winter book. That is more of a traditional book. This is a coffee table book with lots of great content and photos and paintings. And this book is, you know, celebrating Clive's 70th birthday. It's coming out 20 years after The Dark Fantastic, so this includes an additional 20 years of content. The way I see it, buy both, right? I mean, it's hard to find The Dark Fantastic in decent shape because it's been out of print for so long. But if you can get yourself a copy of that, or you already have a copy, this is a great complement to that. I mean, you could pour over this content for hours on end. Clive and Ashley. And if you haven't watched it, check out my interview with Peter Atkins, where we talked about his relationship with Clive over the years and collaborating with him, and just a delightful person and great discussion. We talked about Hellbound, Hellraiser 2 and Hellraiser 3, and Nightbreed and all sorts of fascinating stories. Graphic novels. There's some really good ones. Ah, uh, Tapping the Vein. I know some hardcore fans have those. Cabal. Clive's um, drawings and paintings are really remarkable. Nightbreed. I saw the Cabal cut of Nightbreed at Monster Mania, Cherry Hill. Actually, Craig Sheffer was there, and I... Got to meet him after the screening. It was pretty cool. And actually, I got into Nightbreed later in life. I knew him, Craig Sheffer, from 
Hellraiser Inferno. So I was meeting him with that in mind, not necessarily Nightbreed. Cool guy. Candyman, which Candyman is hot again because the Jordan Peele version, the film that recently came out within the past few years, which I think is very good. And right now, as I record this, uh, the new Hellraiser on Hulu is available. Ch watch my video review of that for my thoughts on Hellraiser. What did you think of it? Feel free to comment down below and let me know. Pinhead. I mean, there's a ton of text here, right? This book, while it is very much um, a visual piece of art, there is a ton of uh, text. The Thief of Always. I love this artwork. I listened to the audiobook of The Thief of Always, and it just um, captivated me. It's just an excellent, excellent book, and that's something I appreciate about Clive, just like Stephen King. He is not just a horror writer. You know, he's branched out. He's written <clears throat> in multiple genres. But look at this. This is gorgeous. Really, Phil and Sarah, uh, who put this book together, did a tremendous job. I mean, i very impressed. Can't imagine how many hours and days and months went into pulling this together. There's uh, Scott Bakula. I met Scott Bakula at Comic-Con in Philadelphia a few years back. I met him and William Shatner. I got a photo with both of them. Both tremendous talents and terrific guys, and Scott Bakula was very cool. He uh, told me that I reminded him of his good friend, Bob Saget, and uh, <laughs> I was, I've heard that before, but it just made me laugh. Bloodline. I recently watched Bloodline before interviewing Peter Atkins. It's not as bad as I remembered, because you know the stories about Bloodline or how atrocious the, the, the process was, but it's really not that bad. It's actually a pretty coherent movie, considering. These pages are so thick, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not skipping any, so you can see the entire book for yourself. There's a ton of books. Uh, I have all of Clive's audiobooks and uh, many of the ebooks and some um, in print. I have not read all of them. So that's what I love about uh, really creative people like him is that there's so much to dive into and enjoy. What is this? I love I Hate. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this book just has really unique layout. And so, Gods and Monsters, right. Ian McKellen, Brendan Fraser, Lynn Redgrave. I've not watched that, but I've heard good things. The Essential Clive Baca. Erotic Short Stories. Cold Heart Canyon. That's one that... Um, I look forward to diving into it. I've heard good things. Abarat. I've heard that there's another book in the works for that, but it's something people have been waiting for forever. And there's Scott Bakula again. Yeah, I mean, look at this artwork. I mean, phew. Insane, right? I mean, the detail is just crazy. What a, a inspiring artist. So that's the thing about the ebook is I think with the ebook you can really focus on the text. I mean, all of these images are in the ebook, but if you really want to kind of just read this cover to cover, that's a great way to do it. If you have the, the physical copy right here, you can do the same thing. But this is also a great book just to pop open and um, kind of dive in wherever you like. I mean, the imagery is easier 
uh, to appreciate and probably best displayed in a physical book such as this. I mean, it's really high quality. Where the ebook, it's a little more compressed because they're trying to deliver it to you in a way that is um, easy and quick to download. I'm really excited I got an autographed copy of this book because I think it really is kind of the culmination of his career. Yes, he's continuing to obviously create, and this isn't the end of Clyde Barker, but I think that if there's one book to kind of collect and celebrate everything that Clyde Barker is all about, this is it. Absolute Midnight. And they've released the Imagineer books, um, which are kind of quite expensive, the art books, and I've never bought those, but so to have a book like this is a great, great one to have. Undying, I do have that. Good game. I assume that in here they probably reference Jericho. Yep, Jericho. That's another good one. Got that as well. Midnight Meat Train. I really like this movie. I think it's great. Bradley Cooper. and I, th I think it's an excellent film. I know some people might not feel the same way, but I think it's good. I've never seen that Books of Blood movie. I did see the one that was on Hulu uh, recently. Eh, it was okay. Look at this body paint. I mean, there's nothing he doesn't try. Clive's health. Yeah, I remember when I saw him. He was actually supposed to be at Monster Mania years earlier, but then this happened where he had his, um, you know, uh, battle to live. And then he rebounded, and um, he's not still not fully recovered, and who knows if he ever will be. I assume not. But I'm just thrilled that he's still with us and that he's still creating, and that I had the opportunity to meet him, get a professional photo, talk to him, tell him how important he is and his work is, and... He just couldn't have been nicer. And I hope I have the opportunity to meet him again. You know, uh, us creative people, we like to bond with one another and connect and just um, we inspire each other. That's what creative people do. Here are those Imagineer books I was talking about. Referencing that here. I talk about his personal life a little bit and afterward. Author's note on the creation. And then Clive's after the word. And then here's the bibliography with all the things. All the things. There you are. So, what is it exactly? It is 351 pages. And then just like on the front. You have more of Clive's writing. So there you have it. Oop. So Clive's Barker's Dark Worlds. It is a hell of a book. Um, I'm actually more impressed by this than I am by the Stephen King book that I recently did a video on. This is just uh, the, of the highest quality. It's just, it's a tome. I mean, I know people use the word tome a lot. This is a tome. It's heavy. It's thick, 350 pages celebrating uh, just a tremendous career of an artist who is continuing to create and whose work is continuing to remain relevant and influential. And we're seeing it in Hellraiser and Candyman and his writing and his paintings and all these great things. So if you are interested in learning more about Clyde Barker or just totally enveloping yourself in his artistry, I can't think of a better way to do it than by buying and reading Clyde Barker's Dark World. It is a fantastic, fantastic book. What are your thoughts? Did you buy it? Um, you know, What do you think of what I just showed you? Feel free to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on Clive, his work, any of your favorite books of his, and happy to have a dialogue with you about it. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this is helpful. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, Visit me at michaelcavaccini.com, and down below is a link for you to buy a copy of Clyde Barker's Dark Worlds. Thanks, and have a great day.